of eggs and only appealing for a short time. This conversation is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, you, yeah but I came to file a complaint. Yeah, somebody has made me feel uncomfortable in the workplace by using language of an inappropriate and sexual nature. Penny. All my life, I have been uncomfortable with the sort of physical contact that... Oh my, that's an uncomfortable topic. Amy. I'm not really comfortable around people. Yeah, I used to be uncomfortable around people. But then I learned a trick. I pretend... I mean, if I were hitting on you, you'd know it, because you'd feel uncomfortable and a little sad for me. <laughs> Sweet. And second, you completely disregard how uncomfortable unresolved issues are for me. It's, it's like a, an itch in my brain I can't scratch. That's stupid. Why? You say it's itchy and uncomfortable. I say situations like this make me feel the same way. I'm telling you, try the hanger. <laughs> oh. And I'd just like to point out that even though the sweater was uncomfortable, I didn't use it as an excuse to antagonize everyone around me. You know, you, you haven't left me yet. That takes guts. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm very uncomfortable with all this. Why? I've never seen this show before. And now I'm starting with episode 246. <laughs> Besides, why did you come? I do, but I feel uncomfortable saying it out loud in front of these police officers. Fine. Or the other night. Am I wrong? No, I just... I feel kind of uncomfortable talking about her like this. Usually when someone's being talked about behind their back, it's me and it's right in front of my face. Well, they were fanning me. <laughs> Let's get our minds off how uncomfortable we are. We could take some more simulated instrument readings. Go shopping for clothes while Leonard and I sit in those uncomfortable chairs and hold your purses. I know I'd hate that. <laughs> Leonard? When really we're just exiting an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> Kripke. Yeah, of all the people, Barry Kripke.